jumping in real quick. So while I was in the process of editing this video, I actually found out that IT Cosmetics discontinued this foundation recently. At first I wasn't going to upload the video because I kind of thought, why bother uploading a video that is reviewing a product that no one's going to be able to buy, I feel like my review. However, after thinking it over, I kind of figured it might be a good idea just to upload the video so you guys can see and have an idea of this foundation just in case IT Cosmetics ever decides to re-release it as well as there may still be a chance of you finding this foundation still on the store shelf since it was recently discontinued in April or maybe even finding it online like on eBay which I don't suggest buying makeup off eBay because you never really know if it's legit or not but if you do happen to find the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation foundation somewhere at least you have the review to be like, wait a minute, I recognize that foundation. But yeah, I just wanted to jump in before the video starts, just so you guys have a idea of why the banner and the thumbnail of the video says discontinued. So that's why. All right, so let's jump into the actual video. Hello, my butterflies. Jen here. Welcome back to Blindly Honestly. And if you're new, hi, hello, and welcome. I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. So before I get started, let me ask you a favor. Please hit that like button and subscribe and share this video with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. You're probably wondering that I am whispering very, very quietly. That is because it is currently 5.38 a.m. in the morning, my husband's asleep, but I wanted to get this video filmed before I head out the door and head to school. So I asked you guys on Twitter which you would be more interested in, a bowling day foundation wear test or a school day foundation wearing test. So you guys voted for school, so here it is, my full day foundation wear test at school. For this foundation wear test, I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation. I tried finding this foundation on the IT Cosmetics website to give you guys some more information. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it, but I was able to find an unlisted video about the foundation. Um, I'm not really sure why it's not on the website anymore. Um, I didn't buy this foundation myself. It was sent to me in exchange for a review from viewpoints.com, which is just a reviewing site that sends out products to people who do reviews and stuff. Um, I'm not sure before when I had originally sat down to film this video a few weeks ago I was on Ulta and now it's not on the Ulta website anymore either so I'm not really sure what's going on there. Anyways so on the YouTube video about the foundation it says that it is a long wearing flawless looking velvet matte finish foundation that provides weightless full coverage, 24 hour wear and hydration. Perfect for sensitive skin and infused with ceramides, peptides, hydrolyzed collagen, hyaluronic acid, squalene, and is oil-free that covers looks of blemishes, redness, dark spots, and other imperfections without creasing or cracking to give you all-day coverage every time you wear it. It has up to 48 true-to-skin shades. It is marine derived. It has marine derived ingredients. So if you have fit in, if you have a sensitivity to fish derived ingredients, make sure you check the ingredients. Um, you know, if you let me know in the comments down below if you guys are able to find it because I can't find it online anywhere. Anyway, so I it is already 5:40. I leave at six, so I need to hurry up and get this going. So I'm going to start with primer, and for that I'm going to use the Revolution Pro Prime and Hydrate. I'm not going to like put a lot of product on today because when I go to school I don't really um, contour or anything like that. I will usually just put my foundation on and oh, I'm like smudging around me. I usually just put my foundation on, concealer, a little bit of bronzer, blush, highlighter, good to go. And this is the shade 205 medium in, which is like a very nice neutral medium shade. I will apply a full face of this, go ahead and do my concealer and all that and I'll let you guys know how I feel it looks. As you can see it applies 
and at first it looks like it's going to be a little out of tone but once you blend it out it actually does a very very good job it's kind of like a my skin but better type foundation if that makes sense and i love that it is full coverage because i am very broken out right now for some reason i'm not really sure why i'm all broken out I think it's stress like today is my finals. <sighs> I know the price for this foundation, $35 is like the general price I've seen online so far. For what the foundation delivers is actually a very good price. Yeah, so this is the coverage with two pumps of foundation. Honestly, that's all you're, you're gonna need because it, it's full coverage. It covers everything. I'm going to conceal, and for that, I'm using the Make It Revolution Super Size. This is the super size of the Conceal and Define by Make It Revolution. So I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer just to give my face a little bit of a shine and for that I'm using the Milk Makeup Baked Bronzing Stick. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face and for that I'm going to use my Wowler Powder from Glossier. I'm going to go ahead and set my face and then I will be right back. So this is the full face without any, I haven't put any bronzer or blush or highlighter on yet, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looks once it's set and has powder over it with the concealer. And it is, like I said, my skin, but better foundation. It doesn't look cakey like some full coverage foundations do. It doesn't sit in like the dry parts of my skin and get kind of patchy or scaly looking. It just looks like a nice healthy glow. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this off with some bronzer. And I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer and this is the shade Tawny. I'm gonna go ahead and spray some setting powder or setting a spray. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set. This was the new summer could, um, Summer selection of the setting spray. I love this spray because it smells like a vanilla coconut flavor. It's just, it's amazing. So we're gonna put some highlighter first and then we're gonna put some blush on. So I'm gonna be using this Anastasia Belly Hills Loose Powder in Hollywood. Okay, so this is my face completely finished. I have my bronzer, blush, highlighter, lipstick, everything on. I need to get going. It is already 6.01. I'm going to be late as usual. So I will go ahead and take some flash photography before I go and put them around here somewhere. And then when I get back at the end of the day, I will let you guys know my final thoughts on this foundation. But you should already know I love this foundation. I've had it for about a month now. It is my favorite foundation that I've ever used because it looks very, very natural. So yeah, I'm going to get going. Like I said, it is... It is 6.02 in the morning, and I will check back in around 6 o'clock tonight and let you guys know, let you guys so you can see how it looks, what held up, what didn't. So yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it is 11.45 in the afternoon, morning-ish. I just got home from school because it was finals day. We had a shorter day. So this is what it looks like after about five, six hours. I didn't touch up anything today so far. At about 10 o'clock, I did blot my face because it was looking oily. Um, this foundation does not keep your oils at bay. It's not a matte foundation. It is like a natural dewy foundation. So if you have oily skin, your oils are going to pop up. Um, and I do want to make you guys know that if you wear glasses, you're gonna lose foundation on your nose. 
I've yet to find a tip or technique that does not make that happen. So let me go ahead and show you guys how it looks right now up close. And then I'm going to jump off and I will be back to do my final check-in at 6 p.m. tonight. All right, so I will see you guys at 6. Okay, so it is now 6.06 p.m. It has been a full day from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. to show you guys how this foundation wears. And as you can see, you can still see blush. You can still see a little bit of contour. My highlighter is still popping. Honestly, like, I love this foundation. Um, <laughs> I had never taken flash photography wearing this foundation. I'm kind of iffy with how it looks with flash on, but I mean, in all honesty, if you are not a, a YouTuber sitting in front of the bright light, taking pictures and all that, the flashback of a foundation doesn't matter at too much unless you're constantly taking pictures. If you just want a affordable foundation for all day wear, I highly, highly suggest this foundation to you guys. The flashback isn't too horrible, but it is noticeable if you're going to be taking a lot of flash photography, so just something to be aware of. The, and like I said before, this foundation, when you first put it on, within four hours, if you are very oily, your oils are going to pop out, so you're going to have to blot. It happens. I'm glad that this foundation doesn't keep your oils at bay or hidden because then you're going to look dry and cakey. I feel like the fact that your oils do seep through kind of helps your foundation bake and set in a little bit more. I did not notice any oxidization with this foundation. It goes on true to color. If anything, it blends with your natural skin tone to get that my skin but better look. Um... Like I said, the only con about this foundation is the fact that your oils do pop out and if you do rub, it is going to rub off. Like I can't sit here and say, oh, it's smudge proof because if you go like this, you're going to get product on your finger. It's not a stick and stay type of foundation. It is an all day wear foundation because it does sit, it stays, but anywhere you rub and mess with you're rubbing off foundation. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're looking at this foundation. If you guys have used this foundation, let me know in the description box down below your thoughts opinion on this foundation. And that is it. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. So I wish you guys lots of love and whiskers and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thinking it's time I throw all